today's video, what we're talking about is defense, and we're taking another look at what we do, what players do with their platform, uh, how they form it, where they form it, when they form it, and, um, and, and what happens next. So looking at these clips here, if, you, if you've seen my previous videos, um, what we had looked at was how players seem to form their platform by bringing their hands together first along their center line and then moving it into the path of the ball uh, to make the dig and uh, and I continue to see it you know watching a lot of video um, you know over the last year uh, not just from you know this year but going back to 2004 like this clip here um, and then also even as far back as some video from the 1984 uh, gold medal match uh, and what I see is the same thing I'm, I'm seeing this you know, I almost want to say this invariant feature um, in that players uh, form their arms, their platforms together first, and then they move it in the path of the ball. And, and again, I don't think this is something that um, all players are taught and, and that we just see it um, because they've been coached to do it. I, I think you would see this happen um, implicitly or or with very little instruction about it. I, I think it might be one of those invariant features um, that uh, that really doesn't vary um, a, at all, you know? And, and the other things that I think tend to vary would be um, the width of our feet, our stance, um, our, our posture, the lean, um, you know, our, our first step, whether it's with the first with the foot closest to the ball or, or not. Um, you know, I, I think there's a lot of variability there, but the one invariant feature that I think is pretty stable over time um, is what we're talking about here today. And it's how players, not just liberos, um, but just elite college, international, professional level players do. They form their platform first uh, and then as they gather more information on the direction, the speed, um, you know, where they're going to move their arms to intercept the ball uh, happens second. Now, again, I think uh, in, in our minds, it would make sense that if we could make this one movement, we could potentially be faster. Here is movement one. The arms platform comes together. Movement two is then tracking the ball or moving our platform uh, into the path of the ball. So again, you're seeing two moves there. I think as coaches, we want to speed things up. We want to make it one movement. Um, but that's just not what we see when we watch players uh, play defense. All right, hey, thanks for watching today's video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below.